Hello there, Whipper here, and today I'm going to be showing you a mod called the Ropes Plus Mod, and this basically adds loads of new ways of actually moving around your Minecraft world using ropes. And there's loads of cool little items with funky features, but I'm going to start off with the grappling hook. So in here we're going to see I've got a grappling hook, it has a really cool texture, it's like a grappling hook with a rope wrapped around it. And I don't have any idea how to craft this, but because for some reason there's actually no crafting recipes in the Minecraft forum topic or on the mod creators website, so I have no idea how to craft this. So you'll have to try and figure that out yourself somehow. Like trial and error, but anyway, to use the grappling hook, you hold it in your hand like this, and then aim to where you want to like climb up, and it's going to drop a rope down so you can climb up this like vertical um, cliff here. So normally you wouldn't be able to get up here, but if I can right click up there and fire the grappling up up there, it's going to set. Actually, I'm going to fly up there and show you. It's going to set itself down on the top block there and drop a rope down down the side of the um, cliff. So I could just walk up this and then climb up it, and it acts exactly the same as a ladder. And then to retrieve the grappling hook once you've got to the top. Uh, let me just go back to the survival so I actually get it. You can just hit the grappling hook and then it will be able to retrieve it. And it also works the other way. So I could just fire at this block here for some reason that hasn't worked. Um, let's try that again. No, just bounce it off a block maybe. There we go. And then you can just climb down the rope again and avoid any fall damage. So it works both ways. And it's a really fast and easy way to actually go up cliffs because normally you'd have to use a ladder and like craft loads of ladders or um, like make a staircase but now you can just craft a grappling hook and since you get the grappling hook back every time it's actually pretty much free to use and you don't have to worry about wasting loads of wood on ladders but there we go that's the grappling hook now on to the next item so next up I'm going to be showing you how you can use rope arrows to um, scale tall like mountains and trees and stuff like that so to craft a rope arrow all you need to do is craft a normal arrow well put it in the same arrangement and just replace the flint with rope and I'll put the rope uh, recipe up there if you want to know how you can make rope. But once you've done that, you'll get yourself some rope arrows. And then to use these, you just fire the bow as you normally would. Um, but if you wanted to like scale this tree here, you just fire up to where you want to go to. So there, and it should drop rope from wherever the arrow lands. So here we go. And now we've got the rope coming down. We can climb up this right up to the top of this tree here. Well, nearly the top of the tree. And it's working really effectively. And also you can fire it while you're on the tree. So if I wanted to continue. Uh, oh dear, that was terrible. I could fire it up there like that and continue to climb up and for some reason it's on the underside of that leaf block I'm not sure how effective that is but there we go so yeah this is the rope arrows and then if you want to get rid of the rope because it's annoying you and it looks a bit ugly you just have to hit it in one place and the whole thing comes back down and you get your rope arrow back after you've um, broke the rope so that's kind of cool so you don't actually lose it um, but anyway now on to the next thing so this thing is probably the best in the mod, it's really awesome, I mean you're going to see how awesome this is, you just like swing through the trees like a monkey with this, it's really awesome. But here we go, so this is the hook shot, and yeah, again I can't find the crafting recipe for this, uh, but all I know is that you're going to need some hook shot cartridges, which again I have no idea how to craft, because I just can't find the crafting recipes anywhere. Um, so yeah, and for some reason not enough items wasn't compatible with biomes of plenty, so that was a bit of a pain, but here we go. So once you've got the hook shot cartridges and the hook shot, you can just hold the hook shot in your hand and then like to use it you just right click on a block in the distance like this and I think it's a maximum of 30 blocks away you can actually use it to so if I just right click on this block here you can see a rope comes from me to that block and then if I jump off this is the really awesome bit we and then you can right click to uh, oh dear detach but yeah I fell to my death there probably my death if I was in survival but yeah that's the idea of it let's see if I can actually make it to the other platform and not fail all the time so let's try this again. It's all about timing on when you let go. I think that's done it. Yeah, it's brilliant, isn't it? You can just like swing everywhere. So here we go, back again. I don't think I'm going to make it all the way up there. But there we go, we can just go back again. And I'm not sure how the momentum works. I think you go in the direction that you face. So if I face the opposite way to where I'm going, I slow down. Yeah, that definitely works. You see, I've slowed down. So you go where you look, which is kind of awesome. I'm on this tree. Yay! So yeah, this is a really awesome thing. I mean, look how awesome that was. And actually, I'm going to go over here and try my little obstacle course I've created with loads of little wood logs in the middle of the air. And I'm going to see if I can swing from wood log to wood log and get to that end platform. This is probably not going to go well, but I'm going to try it anyway. So let's start off with this one. Swing and then let go and then swing and then let go. And then, ah, oh, missed it. But you, know, you can see how that would work. I'm just too bad to actually do that. And for one final thing, I'm going to try and swing using the trees instead of just these blocks. So I'm going to use this lo wood log to start off, and I'm going to just jump off. And I'm going to let go and use that tree. Oh, let's try that again. <laughs> I'm going to be able to do this. There's got to be a way. But you can see I'm having a lot of fun with the hook shot. It's brilliant fun. You can just mess around with this. And I definitely recommend using biomes of plenty with this, because you can swing for the big trees 
We okay, that was semi-effective, but I just suck at using it. You can probably um, practice this and get really good at it, but I'm obviously not that good at it. But anyway, now onto the next thing, which happens to be up here on this really tall tree. Which is probably the tallest tree in this forest, actually, but here we go. So I'm right the way up here, and the next thing is the zip line. And to use a zip line, you're going to need something called the anchor, as well as the hook shot that you've um, got from the other one. So here we go. Um, if I just get the anchor out of this chest here, and to use the anchor, you just place it down on the underside of a block. You can't place it on top of blocks, you have to be on the underside of blocks. And then, you can see I've got this little ledge down there made out of logs. I can use my hook shot, and then fire. Oh, damn cloud, get out of the way. Ah, there we are. Now it should be attached to that wood block in the middle there. Oh dear. Let, let me try that again. That was a bit of a problem. That does happen if you're too close to the edge. The rope pulls you off and it's not very nice. A bit scary really. But if I do it from here. Come on. There we are. And now you just swap from the hookshot to an empty slot in your hotbar. And then right click on this anchor here. And then you can see the rope has attached to the um, anchor. Oh dear, I've just fallen off. But there we go. And whoa, that is the weirdest shaped zip wire I've ever seen. I mean, look at that. Well, zip line, zip wire, whatever you want to call it. And you can see it like bows and then goes up again. But we can try this. So anyway, to use the zip wire, you can just right click on the anchor like this and wee, And it will drop you off when you reach the end like that. It's brilliant. So a really effective zip wire. I'm presuming, uh, I think this is actually the limit to how far you can like make a zip wire. But you could have multiple anchors maybe. I'm not sure about that though, I think. I'm not sure you can actually have multiple anchors, but you can try it out yourself. Um, but let's try this from third person mode. And why? what is that on my head? Exotic flower band. Why have I got that on my head? Okay, that's a bit weird. Um, what? Ow! Did you see that? It's going through my head. The wire is going through my head. Well, rope, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, let's try that again. We Ow, that must really hurt. <laughs> it's probably going through both my ears and out the other side. That could... could could work, but there we go. So that's the zip line. So now I'm going to be showing you the loads of different kinds of arrows that this mod adds. And you can actually change between the different types of arrows when you're going to fire the arrows. So you don't have to worry about only having to have one type in your inventory at once. You can have all the different types and easily change between them. And to change between them, you can actually bind this in the control settings in Minecraft. So if you scroll to the bottom of the control settings, you're going to see swap arrows forward and swap arrows back. And by default, they're on comma and full stop. But you can actually rebind this and I've rebinded mine to RNF for convenience. So there we go. And then you can use these to cycle between the different kinds of arrows like this. So I can press R to go up between them and then down and back to my um, torch arrows. So now I'm just going to be showing you the different types of arrows. So first off, of course, I'm going to be showing you the torch arrow. So I'm going to fire it over there at the hillside. And you can see it places down a torch and also gives me a snowball because it broke a snow block. Um, well, not a snow block, like a snow layer. But then we can fire it over there. We've got another torch. And it's a good way of putting torches down from distance. So there we go. Those are the torch arrows. But next up we've got the lovely explosive arrows and you can probably guess what these are going to do. And you can probably see I've got like a pig army here and these are very good for um, testing arrows out on. Because you know, everyone likes bacon and we're going to get some lovely cooked bacon as well with some of the other arrows. But anyway, the explosive arrows, if I just fire them at these pigs over there, you can see it's going to explode when it lands after a certain period of time. Let's just fire it again and explode that pig. Oh, I've just hit pig directly there. Is it going to explode? There, there we go. Poor pig, it's getting flown up in the air. Or flung up in the air, but there we go, so, whoa, that arrow seems to be glitched in mid-air, but it's exploded anyway, and there we go, so that's the explosive arrows. Um, next up we've got the fire arrows, you can probably guess what these are going to do. So if I just fire it at this pig here, now, the pig is set on fire, and we'll get some lovely cooked pork, or bacon, as I like to call it. So we're just going to fire over, oh damn, I've missed. Oh, I'm really bad at this, but anyway, next up we've got the slime arrows, so we can try these out now. Uh, I wonder what these do. Whoa, did that pig just disappear did just okay did the sl... does it like spawn a slime wherever it lands I, I, I have no idea but anyway next up we've got the confusing arrow um so i'm gonna just hmm i wonder what this is gonna do let's just fire at this pig and it, i think it makes the pig really confused look it's going all over the place it has no idea let's try that again <laughs> yeah i i i'm not really sure what this is doing but uh they seem to be very confused i mean that one's dancing all over the place He's probably just having a bit of fun with his friends, but there we go. So that's the um, confusing arrow. Not sure what that did. Um, next we've got penetrating arrow. Sounds a bit rude, but we'll just go with it. And I'm guessing this one like travels through mobs, so when you fire it, it's going to go through multiple mobs. So let's try this out here. Yep, it hit both of those pigs, so it went straight through the single pig and went to the other ones. And there we go. Ah, oh, it didn't go through more, but we've got one left, so let's try and fire it through there. 
Yep, it hit both those pigs, so there we go, if you want to hit multiple mobs at once, so you've got like a zombie horde following you, you could just use the um those um penetrating arrows and go and hit all the mobs at once, which is really helpful. Next up, the um warp arrows, so I'm guessing this one acts like an ender pearl maybe, it'll teleport you to wherever it lands. Yep, and oh, I got an achievement, timber, probably for just going in this biome. Uh, is the biome a timber biome? I'm not too sure, yeah it is, so there we go, a bit off topic again. So I can just teleport all the way over there, boom, and back to that tree. So yeah, those are the warp arrows, kind of um, self-explanatory there. And whoa, uh, I appear to be glitched in a tree, that's not very helpful. Let's just go back to my pig testing field. Um, but next up, the dirt arrows. So I um, wonder what this does. It just like has a dirt trail and then puts down a block of dirt wherever it lands. So you could build like buildings from far away. Build a lovely dirt house. Everyone knows they're the most complicated things to build. And if you build a dirt house, you're like the best builder ever. And whoa, that one just randomly disappeared. But anyway, next up we've got the frost arrows. So th does this freeze mobs or something? Uh, no, it just fires like snowballs. I'm not really sure what these are doing. Maybe if I fire it at a glass block. Yeah, oh, a grass block, not a glass block. Does it do anything? It doesn't appear to do anything. Uh, but there we go, so that's the frost arrow. I'm going to have to investigate that further later on. Um, but next up we've got the seed arrow. So this one probably like plants down seeds on the ground or something. Uh, I'm not going to need to hoe the ground for this to work properly. Let me just get myself a hoe, and not in that way. I know what you're thinking. But there we go, so I've hoed the ground, and now can I use the seed arrow on it? Is it going to place down a seed? Yep, that's how you use the seed arrow. So if you want to place down crops using an arrow, for some stupid reason maybe, I don't know. There's got to be a reason for doing it. Um, but that's the seed arrow. So yeah, that's all the new arrow types that this mod adds, and yeah, that's pretty much everything for the mod really. I think the main part of this mod definitely is the rope stuff, like the um, grappling hook and the zip wire, because those are really cool to mess around with, and you could probably get really good at swinging between the treetops using that um, hook shot thingy. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing you next mod video.